In this video, I'll be showing you how to design a Facebook cover using Photoshop. So let's get started. First, open your Photoshop application. Go to File, go to New, then set the width to 851, the height to 315. Leave the resolution at 300. And when you are done, make sure this is in pixels and you click OK. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background from white to something like grey. So you go to the layer panel and you choose the paint bucket to make sure you've selected your color that is the grey and you click OK. Now come to the background layer and left click on it and it will change to grey. When you are done, go to pick the eclipse to and start to draw any eclipse of any size that you want. So I'm going to change the color I'm using these colors right over here. So I'll copy the first one and I'll paste it inside here. So you adjust it to the size that you want. Something like this. Alright, so when you are done, you make a duplicate of it, leave the top layer and modify the second layer that is below the first layer. So you go to the colors again and you pick, you select here, yeah, you copy it and then you paste it inside. Now use your arrow keys to position the color that you just modified. So something like this, you position it to the size that you want. When you are done, make another duplicate by pressing Ctrl J. Sorry. Now, when you are done, I'm going to import the picture or the image that I'm going to use. So this is a picture of myself. So you bring the picture and you position it. Press Ctrl T to transform it and then you can scale it down to the size that you want. You press Ctrl 0 to fill the image. Now I'm going to rotate this a little bit. Alright. So you rotate it and you position your image very nicely should in case you be using your own image so you get something like this and then you position it very nicely now the next thing that i'm going to use i'm going to add some text so you change the color to black and then you make sure the text tool is selected now you type in something like about me and you can change the font type from here and you can change uh, the font size also from here so i prefer using a vertical insert here so when you're done you just scale it you can use ctrl t to open the transform and you can transform it anyhow you want it now i'm going to select this right up over here I'm going to copy it and then I'll press C on my keyboard again and I'll paste it now I'm going to change the fonts to something like Roboto right, yeah so I'm going to use the Roboto regular okay then you can adjust it on how you want it so you, when you are done you press ctrl t to modify the size if it's not good for you so you position it to the size that you really want okay 
so when i'm done i'm going to make a duplicate of this about me by pressing ctrl j and then i'll drag it down and then i'll modify it to in a sense and then i'm going to position that one very nicely over here now when i'm done i'm going to add some stuff over here maybe my personal facebook id my twitter and so to do that i'm going to use the costume shape tool that i downloaded from some source and i'm going to select this shape and i will draw over here so the color is already in white so definitely sorry i'm going to bring it up here so definitely it's going to be white in color so you position it you can zoom in to get what you want so you position it then i'm going to select my instagram account and i'll draw that one too and you position that one too very nicely and then i'll draw the twitter account that one too then you can position it one thing is using this shape tool you can change the color from white to any color that you want so it depends on the background that you are using over here so the last thing i'm going to add is my youtube account and i will draw that one here so to make sure everything is in line oh sorry okay so i think this one is okay to make sure everything is in line i'm going to go to view and i'll go to new guideline and i'll input 50 percent to get my guideline over here so i'll place it over here to make sure that these two are in line then i'll bring it back to make sure that these two are also in line and i think the twitter account is a bit bigger so i'm scaling it down small all right so i think this is okay now you select your test tool again and then you start to type in okay? so you change the color to white and you change your font type if you want to so i'm going to use the logo to but this time around i'm going to use the light one so i'll type in that's my facebook id so if you have any questions you can add me on facebook and we have more chat over there so you position it very nicely like this one then you press ctrl j to make a duplicate of that one and then you, you change the name to so that's my instagram account you can follow me and then you make a duplicate and change it to say innocence that's my twitter id and then you make the last duplicate and then you change it to and that's my instagram i'm um, sorry my youtube id so that's basically the simplest way to design a facebook cover for yourself so if you don't want this image you can just click on this eye over here to turn it off and then you can insert 
another image you can make corrections and modifications to all that you've done and i think it's very nice so thanks for watching this video and i hope you enjoyed it if you did i hope you give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more take care